Welcome to Look Smarter Than You Are with SBase. This TechRef video will cover the at substring function. The at substring function can be used in your SBase Calc scripts and in your planning business rules. This particular function returns the requested string of characters from an existing source string. Now that source string can be a text string that is hard coded into the script. It can be a member name. It can be the function result that returns a text string or a function result that returns a single member name. The syntax for at substring is at substring, open parentheses, the actual string itself, comma, the start position, and then optionally, comma, the end position. Your start position will start with zero. Zero is the first character. One is the second character and so on. The end position is an optional parameter one is the second character, two is the third character, and so on. And if you do not define an end position, then all of the characters will be returned. So let's look at an example. In this case, I have an application that has an entity dimension and a project dimension. And one of the metadata requirements or rules about the entity and the project dimension is that the first three digits of the project number will always equal the entity. So if I have a number of business rules and planning that I need to run for end users, why prompt them to enter in both facility and project where I can prompt them to enter in their project and automatically pull out the facility using the substring function. This reduces the amount of key interaction for end users. So let's look at an example. In my fixed statement, I'm fixing on source project. So notice this is a runtime prompt variable that users are going to be prompted for in the business rule. So I have the fix source project and then I do a comma and then notice here we're using the substring function. Now the first thing that I have to do is I'm using the at name function to get the, the source project into a text string so that I can do the substring function. So then from there, I'm ready to use the substring function. So I've got substring, which is the first parameter. And then I need to define the string itself, which is going to be the, the source project. And then my start position is zero, and I want to return the first three characters. Now, once I've got the substring, I actually use the at member function to, to pull that back into a, a member format so that it can be used within the fixed statement. Now, my, I have another fixed statement that um, in this particular case, if I have a source project and a target project for my business rule, I use that same substring function. Now, what planning in SBase is going to read is the fix, and then the, it pulls in those numbers. So if my project number is 4011900, and then the entity number is 401. So what that looks like for end users and when they run the business rules is now I only have two prompts instead of four. I didn't have to, to prompt them for a facility or for an entity. Um, so I've got my source project and my target project. That's a simple case of the at substring function.